knows how to show up in her workplace and in her community as someone who can hold others, hold space for the whole and include everybody, no matter where they are in their journey, no matter whether they are healed or, or traumatized, whether they are conscious or not, you know, not yet fully uh, empowered, she's able to not uh, exclude them, but if, as the heroine, then the heroine learns to say no. It's the complementary opposite, other. The male makes the same journey to the place in a complementary and opposite way than the female and the feminine. So come back to the same place but from different directions, opposite directions. So the, the heroine has to learn to say no, because as a woman, you're busy saying yes to everything. And you've been socialized to be the caregiver, to be the, the family uh, anchor, uh, to be available to everybody. And so a woman gets depleted because she doesn't know how to say no. So if a woman has to become a whole person, she has to create healthy boundaries to gain that security for herself and reclaim her power. Okay. That has made the journey and now realizes I'm not all knowing. I don't have all the answers. I'm willing to be curious. I'm willing to learn. <clears throat> and so it's called the wise fool. And then tough love. Tough love is tough is that man inside you, the masculine, that knows how to fight the good fight, knows how to say no, knows how to draw healthy boundaries and not let the self get violated. Uh, healthy feminine behaviors. And they said to me, empathy, gentleness, inclusion, nurturing, openness, creativity, variety and flavor, trust, vulnerability, and harmony. The real game is to remain above the line, okay? What we want is like an inhale and exhale to be able to be healthy feminine and healthy masculine healthy feminine and healthy masculine. And if we forget to be in this balanced expression, we tend to fall below the line and we will have the worst of both worlds. So let me explain. If I'm only being feminine in my leadership all the time, I'm only focused on relationship and empathy and compassion, and I forget being masculine, okay? you cultivate psychological wholeness. And this means finding your lost half to become a whole person. So you have to become the wise fool of tough love. You have to have access to your wise parent self without losing touch with your curious, foolish, happy, fun child self. You have to have access to your tough, inner masculine self, your man, and you have to have access to your love, your inner feminine self, your inner woman. Once you become psychologically whole, the fourth element is to cultivate flexibility or agility, which is from a place of presence and power and wholeness to be able to respond to each leadership challenge as appropriate. Once you have these four elements, then we come to what's called congruence, the fifth element of Shakti leadership. And this is uh, an entirely different workshop, actually. We won't have time to go into this, but you all, I'm sure, do this. This is the idea of knowing your purpose and your values and then living your life on purpose and with values. You line up. The leader you are is the person you are, you are congruent and you express congruence. So these are the five elements of Shakti leadership, presence, power, wholeness, flexibility, congruence. And then we put the circle around it, which is the idea of the hero's journey, that all these five elements are such powerful basis 
of shakti of power that you're going to have to make a hero's journey to claim them to own them to deserve them power is never given to you on a platter you have to earn it and so it takes the heart of a hero we also say that the inner journey to self mastery is as important as the outer journey to selfless service let's remember that your heroic journey is linked to your company's success your country's renaissance and to global harmony and all you have to do is follow your bliss just follow your purpose your joy and uh, as andrew harvey says if you can't follow your bliss follow your heartbreak what breaks your heart what is it that you think the world so badly desperately needs that someone should do something about it well that's yours to do that is your dharma that is your purpose go and do that if you can't follow your bliss follow your heartbreak